for our speed bump project, we uh, decided to use a GMC Sierra. It has a, uh, weighs 2,835 kilograms, and uh, we calculated the spring force from Hooke's Law, and we, then from that we were able to get our damping constant. So we got these two numbers right here. Uh, some of the assumptions that we made for this project, we assumed that the tires are stiff, so that way they don't have any characteristics of dampers or springs like in the rubber and things like that. We also assumed that the vehicle was symmetrical so that uh, the weight is evenly distributed throughout the car. We also assumed that there is no other suspension parts except for just a spring and a damper so we can be able to uh, solve the problem this way. We also assumed for the speed bump, we had to make some assumptions for that. Uh, so we said that it was gonna take shape of a sine wave, so we assumed Y of T equals H times sine omega T. And we got uh, the H of the height, we assume that it's gonna be 0.1 meters, and we're gonna assume that it's gonna be two meters long. So in this picture right here, you can see before the speed bump, you can see the car is uh, just sitting on the tire, and we have our spring and our damper right here. As we come forward and it approaches, it starts going over the speed bump. Using this figure here, we were able to create an equation of motion. Uh, separating the variables on both sides, we were able to come up with a transfer function here. Um, after we got the transfer function, we were able to get, the, we broke it down into partial fractions, which will lead to the analytic, analytical solution. We, for that, we used a V equals one meter uh, per second. And after we got the analytical, the analytical solution, we were able to put it in MATLAB. These are two different plots uh, for do, two different velocities uh, put in MATLAB. The one to my right is the one for one meter per second. You can see that the amplitude is 0.12 and the time it takes to um, get the steady state is around six to seven seconds. The one on the left is uh, the velocity is 155 meters per second. You see that the amplitude on the first peak is about 0.11 and it takes about 12 seconds to 13 seconds to settle. Just based off these graphs, it's safe to assume that going over a speed bump slow would be the best route because there's less oscillations. You know, there's one peak that's uh, 0.1 higher than the, the 155. It's, it takes less time to settle.